Welcome to this IX instruction video. It will focus on how to import tags and establish communication to a controller. We will start by clicking on the tags icon in the project explorer. Tags can be renamed and added manually. In this case we rename the default tag to my tag. The next step is to select which address in the PLC that should be accessed. The syntax depends on the selected controller. Controllers can be added and configured under the controllers tab. When clicking on the controllers button, a list appears. We will select code assist driver. The driver needs to be configured in order to work properly. Therefore we click on the settings button. In the settings tab, it's possible to define the IP addresses that the driver should connect to. In this case, address 127.0.0.1 Dot one is used. If you are unsure about settings or addressing, a help file can be accessed by clicking on the help button. Each communication driver has a unique help file. It contains information such as release notes, settings, and addressing. Many of the drivers have an import module. This means that tags can be imported from the tag files generated by the PLC programming software. Tags are imported by clicking on the import button, followed by the controller that tags should be imported to. An open file dialog will appear when clicking in the text box. Then we need to navigate to the file that contains the tag definitions. IX will present all tags in the tree view. By expanding and selecting nodes or tags, we can decide which tags to import. The imported tags will appear in the tag list when finalized. The tags have now been imported and can be used. The next step is to build a simple process picture and connect tags to the different objects. The screen will visualize a small tank park. We will start by adding all static graphics. We need to add two rectangles. These are dragged and dropped from the component library. Next we select the tank picture and add it to the screen. One additional rectangle or pipe is used and resized. Finally, we select the small tank picture and add it to the screen. The next step is to add dynamic objects to visualize pumps, valves, and tank levels. We start by adding a multi picture object. This will represent a pump. The tag should control the picture is selected from the tag selector list. Now we need to select which pictures that should be displayed. The first picture will be displayed when the tag value equals 0. The second picture will be displayed when the tag value equals 1. By adding a toggle tag action, we will allow the operator to start and stop the pump by clicking on the pump icon. We selected Use Connected Tag. This means that the action will be carried out on the tag that controls which picture that is displayed. There should be two valves, therefore we simply copy and paste the pump icon. The object's position is moved to the second pipe. By selecting the General Ribbon tab and the Configure Pictures, we will be able to replace all the pictures and tag connections. We select the valve 1 tag. The pump pictures are replaced with valve pictures instead. The first picture will show a closed valve. The second picture will show an open valve. Yet again we right click on the object and select copy. Right click again and select paste. We move the object and place it to the right of the second tank. Finally we connect the object to the valve 2 tag. To visualize the tank levels, we add a linear meter object. We need to change the orientation to vertical. The object is then connected to a tag, in this case tank level 1. Finally the object is made transparent and we remove the scale. We also resize the object slightly to make it easier to see the current tank level. The object is then copied 
and paste it. The size is adjusted so it fits the smaller tank. The meter is then connected to another tag, in this case, tank level 2. To test the application, we can select the Project tab and click on the Run icon. The simulator will start and communicate to the configured controller or controllers. The simulator is now running and it communicates with the Code Assist runtime. When the operator clicks on the pump, valve tank levels will start to increase and decrease.